Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this limited edition Keurig Rolling Stones Start Me Up Iced Coffee Kit. So it comes in this really nice box. I ordered this over a month ago, back in June. Um, it retails for $140. It's got like records right here that looks like. Again, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so it's got a handle, you're gonna pull this. Wow, it is really neat. So up top, we've got some co uh, coffee K-cups. Now the front of it looks really nice. Looks like we got a tumbler. So let's take it out. Comes with instructions, so it looks like it's a K-iced. Okay, so first we're gonna lift this big box off. All right, now it looks like we can take the whole coffee maker out. A little tricky, but just lift it straight out. Wow, looks really neat. Okay, so we're gonna take the plastic off. We can take the, looks like the tumbler out. Wow, does this thing look nice. Okay, so the straw is hidden. Open up the K-cup where the K-cups are and you'll see there's the straw for the tumbler. Okay, so this, the graphics look amazing. I am very impressed. The other side's got a completely different look. The Rolling Stones, wow, looks nice. Now, up top, it even has a really nice logo. Now, we open it up. It's just got the single needle on top and bottom. So, the iced coffee tumbler is really cool. It's got the Rolling Stones with the K-Cup logo in the middle there. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, the K-Cups, all they say is medium roast coffee. Limited edition. They don't say much more than that. And then, this is the K-Iced. I've done a video on the K-Ice. The K-Ice is a very good coffee maker. Anytime you press the ice button and then the eight ounce, 10 ounce or 12 ounce, it brews half that amount. So it'll brew four ounces, five ounces or six ounces through a coffee cake up. But you can brew just a regular coffee with it too. So if you don't press the ice button, you just press the 12, it's gonna brew 12, 10 or eight ounces through the coffee cake up. Yeah, I am pretty impressed with this. I think they need to start doing some more of these very specific limited edition coffee makers and this this is not just a sticker it's like somehow they put it as part of the keurig i think they did a good job okay so the water tank is removable i've got it filled up let's prime the keurigs anytime before i use a keurig now i lift this water tank on and off about 10 times that's going to force water into the tubing and get it ready to go Okay, so let's brew an iced coffee. I've got the tumbler full of ice. Again, we've got this over ice button. We've got a strong brew button at 10, 12, 8, 10, and 12. Now I'm gonna press the, the ice button and the eight. That's gonna run about four ounces through this coffee. It's gonna, it's gonna give you a really concentrated coffee. The ice is gonna melt, and that's gonna give us a really refreshing iced coffee. I'm gonna add some milk and some syrup. So let's press the over ice button. We gotta put our cake up in first. Now again, this does not have multi-brew technology. It's just got a standard needle on the top, standard on the bottom. Now these lights are flashing. I'm gonna press the over ice button and the K button. It's a really fast coffee maker and very quiet too. Okay, so it's starting to brew coffee. I'm kinda anxious to see what this coffee tastes like. Again, they don't really say who made it or what company. Now that coffee is gonna be hot coming out, but towards the end, it is gonna cool the brew down a little bit to prevent um, some of the ice from melting. But it, again, it's really hot coming out at first and it does lower the temperature towards the end. And it does kind of a slow brew to extract more flavor from the coffee. Again, the tumbler looks great. All right, and it's done. Okay, so again, I could drink it just like this. See, I got plenty of ice in there. You know, some of the ice did melt, it's diluted. That's still really uh, bitter to me. I gotta add some milk and syrup. So today, let's make a salted caramel. Again, about two tablespoons, which is about four pumps. Now you can add any kind of milk you'd like, almond milk, 2% whole milk. Um, it, it, all the milk really does taste good. 
I'm gonna add about, oh, about three, two or three ounces. And this just really makes a nice refreshing drink. Again, it just looks so cool. Now I love this tumbler. I love that it screws on. You know, it's gonna prevent a major spill. You're still gonna get some coming out around the, the straw, but let's stir it up. Again, still, I could add more ice if I wanted to. That tastes delicious. So that's really good coffee. I am gonna make just a regular coffee. Medium roast coffee, that's got a really strong coffee taste to it, um, but it doesn't taste bitter. It's just a nice, refreshing drink. It's, I like that it's cold, I like the milk, I like the syrup. Yeah, this is a great machine. Okay, so here I've got the Keurig K-Ice. These are identical machines. Um, you don't have to get the Rolling Stone ones if you like the taste of this drink. It, this one's gonna make the exact same drink, except you won't be able to get these coffee K-Cups, but any coffee K-Cup will work just fine. This is a medium roast. Now they do sell, I got it in white and this gray color. I do think the white looks a little bit better. Now it does have a descale light. The descale light on this one also is gonna come on after 250 brews. Be sure and check out my videos. I'm gonna show you, you gotta put it into a special descale mode in order to get that descale light to go off because it's gonna come on after 250 brews and it is important to clean the inside of your coffee machine. So another interesting note, they also sell a Keurig K-Iced Essentials. This is mainly at Walmart. I don't necessarily recommend this, but it does come with a tumbler. Um, it comes with the Keurig tumbler, which is exactly the same as this, but this one's got the Rolling Stones. This one does not come with a tumbler. This one does. But I thought the iced coffee was too, uh, too much coffee when you're doing over ice, and you're only allowed just over ice. You can't do an over ice six, eight, or 10. It's just one over ice. Here I can select different sizes. And to me, for an iced coffee, it comes down to the amount of coffee. I prefer a smaller concentrated amount of coffee than my ice and my milk and my sugar. To me, that tastes like a really nice iced coffee. So for this one, you know, you get the tumbler was really nice, but this is the one to get. Okay, so let's just brew a coffee. I took the cake up out. You know, it's really hard to tell again what type of coffee. Put the cake up in. Here, I can do a strong brew or I can do just an eight ounce. I'm gonna do an eight ounce and it's just gonna come out really quick. A side note, they do give you this a playlist on Spotify um, that was looks like it's, now it says it was handpicked by the stones to start up your morning. Now again, when we're doing coffee, it's gonna brew the full eight ounces. It's gonna brew it really hot. You end up with about 175 degree cup of coffee. So be careful, it is really hot, but it's really, you're gonna have a cup of coffee in less than a minute. Okay, it's all done. Again, here's what the coffee looks like. I am gonna taste it, but again, it looks really good. I could have brewed 10 or 12 ounces, whatever you prefer. Again, I prefer eight ounces because coffee K-cups have two tablespoons of coffee in them. And for me, eight ounces is just the right amount of hot water through a K-cup. Okay, so I've, I've tasted this coffee. I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means. This almost tastes like their Green Mountain uh, medium roast or something like that. It's kind of a, between a medium and a dark, um, it's got it's a really bitter taste to it. Again, if we take the cake up out, we can see it, it poked a hole in the top and the bottom. I bought this back like June 12th. I saw it as soon as it came out on their website. I think I got an email or something, but I think they, they did not make very many of these at all. I want to say 100, but that seems pretty low. But I was able to get one because I ordered the day of. I've, I've been on their website now. It doesn't look like it's available. I think I did see one on eBay. So on, on eBay, there's some for sale for $600. I only paid $140 for this. I, I have decided to do, this is gonna be a free giveaway. Again, I don't have that completely figured out yet. I'm really, really new to this giving away stuff. I got some stuff I need to give away. I wanna do it. We're gonna be doing it this summer. We just, we have a lot to figure out of how to do it. And I wanna do it the right way. So this will be a free giveaway. Again, I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it. It's probably gonna be a YouTube video or something. Again, we're still working on that. The, and this is my first coffee uh, video in a month. We did have to take a month off to, to install this kitchen. So I'm pretty excited about the studio kitchen. Uh, upstairs was getting, you know, I had to take down my video lights and I was making quite a bit of mess upstairs. 
And so we really need to get our kitchen back upstairs. And now this is just a really specific studio kitchen that I'm gonna be doing my videos in. But me and the wife, we had to install the floor. We had to install everything. The kids did help us out a little bit, but we had to do all the work ourselves. I did have a plumber come in and help me with the plumbing. But I'm just, I'm really excited how it turned out. It's not super big, but it's gonna really help me make my videos. So as you can see, I got, do have some studio lighting, but you know, right now I don't have a video editor. I, I edit all my own videos. My wife is helping out quite a, a, bu a bunch with the different things on the YouTube channel and stuff. Got an ice maker right there or a, an ice machine, right? Or a refrigerator right there on the left-hand side. Again, these lights really help out. Some LED lights in the ceiling. And what's really helping me out is this, this island. It's a desk that goes up and down. I just press a button and it lifts up and down. That's really helping me out. I do have some lower back issues and sitting on a stool was starting to be, was starting to hurt a little bit. So this is really helping out a bunch. And then what's nice is we do have a little patio out here and I can do my reviews on the Ninja wood fire oven. I did, I got the pizza oven right there. It's really nice. So I could just walk out and do my reviews there. So I really want to thank everybody. I recently surpassed 80,000 subscribers. I'm just so very thankful. I could not have done that without you. The comments everybody leaves are so nice. I really appreciate them. They give me such great ideas. I don't necessarily come out from behind the camera much. I really want my videos to be about the products. Um, I want you to get you know a close-up view of the product and just I want to help people. That's the main thing behind my videos. You know, do you want to buy, you know, not necessarily this one, this was kind of a, but people might like to see this coffee maker. Um, and this is going to be a giveaway. And I'm gonna got other coffee makers I'm gonna give away, but so you'll see some D scale videos come up, but those are, those are intended to help people. And I just want to walk people through. I read the manual, kind of show you how to do it. But then I'm also, I buy the new coffee makers that come out um, and I'll show you how to set them up for the first time. I'll show you how hot the coffee is. Again, not a coffee taste expert, but generally, uh, you know, if I mix a little bit of creamer and sugar with it, I, I think coffee tastes really good and I can get kind of a sense of the coffee maker. And I, again, really appreciate everybody's support. Um, again, not, not sure about the video format yet, whether I'm gonna come out and talk about the product. Again, just want you to see the product. I wanna really concentrate on the product. Um, and that seems to be the focus of my videos, not necessarily me, but again, I am very, very appreciative. This is my full-time job now. I am gonna be doing some live streams in the future. I do some on Amazon right now. I'm also gonna be doing some on YouTube. And I might be coming up with a podcast, um, maybe once a couple weeks, once a month. I do so much research on coffee makers because I'm, I'm trying to get the latest coffee maker that I kind of see the news. And I just want to kind of inform you of what I'm seeing on the internet as far as some news articles, maybe some new coffee makers coming out. There's actually a bunch of coffee makers coming out this year. So I've got a bunch of videos coming up. So you'll see videos and let me know, you know, the ice cream makers I enjoy doing. Um, how to make different ice creams and then the carpet cleaners and that um, again again I just want to show people the carpet cleaners I've really gotten into because they sell so many different models and that's frustrating to me because they'll put it like Bissell puts they sell like four uh, Bissells and they're all essentially the same carpet cleaner but they make them different colors make them different names and that to me I want to show people you can get whichever one's the best price and that's that's helping the consumer um, so I do end up buying like four of them and I am going to be giving away some carpet cleaners. But the reason I do that is to show you, Hey, this one is exactly the same as this one. It comes with a little bit different attachment and here's how that attachment works, but they're essentially the same. Hoover is starting to do that too. I just recently, I've got about three Hoovers now. They're, they're essentially the same carpet cleaner, but I want to show you what's different, why they're calling it a different model number. Um, and things that are sold at Walmart and Amazon, they'll change one little thing. Like they'll take one button off of a coffee maker and they'll sell it at Walmart. Uh, cheaper, of course, but then I want to compare the two and show you, hey, you really don't need that extra button or that extra feature. This one works just as fine. So that's why I'll have uh, both coffee makers so I can do side-by-side -side comparisons. And again, I just really can't express, uh, you know, this kitchen would not be possible without my fans and my viewers. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. I, I hope the videos are better now. If there's something, you know, the lighting, I'm not a lighting expert. I just watch YouTube videos. And if there's something with the lighting or the sound that I can help with, 
Um, leave them in the comments. That's how I've gotten. That's how I've gotten where I am today from the comments. You know, I read 90, 95% of the comments. I do read, and a lot of it's constructive criticism. I'm okay with. You no, know, not a lot of it. There's been a few. I'm okay with that. They've helped me grow. They've helped me. They've helped me figure things out. Again, I'm doing this by myself. My wife is helping me out quite a bit. She's been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. She will be doing the giveaways. And again, we're just super excited about that. That has been a lot of, I, I have a lot of coffee makers and I do want to give a lot away, but I do have to keep some because I want to do the comparison. So when the new model comes out, I want to have the old model there. So is it worth the upgrade? I want to show you side by side exactly if it's worth the upgrade or not. So that's why I will be keeping some coffee makers, but I will be getting rid of a lot of them. And again, the comments, really, really helpful. Thank you, everybody. It gives me encouragement. Um, I do, the videos do help a lot of people. And that's really, again, the first videos I ever did were about, you know, just this is a coffee maker. Again, I didn't know a whole lot about coffee makers. And that's kind of why I'm doing the videos because I found that coffee makers were this thing that people just use and they're, there's not a lot. I mean, there is a lot of information on them, but there's not a lot of, oh, you just put the coffee in and you just go. Uh, I found when I, you know, I was probably uh, 46, 45 years old when I first started drinking coffee and it was intimidating. I didn't know how much coffee, what type of filter, even what coffee maker to use. And you would think that just being around those kind of coffee makers for that long, that it would be easy, but it wasn't. And then when you start getting into the Starbucks drinks, the, and that's typically, you know, these iced coffees and things, these can be kind of intimidating on how to make because there's just a, there can be a lot going on and for it to taste good. And that's really what I want to help with. Um, so again, I'm, I'm just extremely thankful to everybody. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos. There's going to be a lot of videos coming and I'm super excited about the future. And again, I just really appreciate everybody's support. And again, just thank you very much.